Becoming a blockchain developer is one of the fastest ways to change your life and earn a six-figure income in 2020, hands down. Even in the middle of an economic slowdown that we're going through right now, like I'm still getting jobs as a freelancer. And it's got so many perks, like it's remote friendly, you can work from home, uh, you're way more likely to earn a high salary in blockchain compared to other programming fields. And you don't have to be a developer to get started today. You can just learn from scratch. And there will inevitably be people watching this video who are saying, oh, I know blockchain and I don't make that much. Well, watch this video, okay? Because this is a really common problem that developers have. They often undervalue themselves and you might be doing the same thing. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about like what a six-figure blockchain developer looks like. I'm gonna lay it all out, the hard truth, so that you can measure yourself against this standard and see if that's you. And if it's not, don't worry. Like I'm gonna show you how you can fix that and become a six-figure blockchain developer so you can you know, unlock all these crazy benefits that I just talked about and you know, literally change your life. So before we jump into that, you know, if you're new around here, I'm Gregory. And on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. And if you really wanna become a six-figure developer, then the first secret is that you need to smash the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. But in all seriousness, you know, if you just want to take a massive shortcut and learn how to become a six-figure blockchain developer step-by-step, then I can show you how to do that over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. So I just made a video about the state of blockchain development in 2020 and like everything you need to know right now to get started in blockchain. And this video is really a follow-up to that, all right? We're going to drill down on a very specific topic about, you know, how do you make six figures as a blockchain developer? Because I think this is one of the fastest ways to earn a six-figure income online in 2020 compared to all the other ways. I mean, you've probably seen ads for this stuff, like affiliate marketing, uh, Facebook ads, drop shipping, cryptocurrency, all right? So... I've done all this stuff. And yes, you can make a lot of money with this stuff, but usually only a few people do. And a lot of times it takes a long time or maybe the opportunity dries up really fast. But with blockchain development, you're way more likely to earn six figures faster and it has long-term potential. And when you're talking about all this stuff right here, Like there's going to be so many people that try to make this stuff look easier than it actually is, but I'll be fully honest and transparent with you. Like becoming a blockchain developer is not easy. I mean, you're going to, it's going to cost you a lot of time, energy, money, and frustration, but it's worth it. Okay. Like if you become a blockchain developer, just think about being able to work from wherever you want, whenever you want, you know, building the future of the internet. I mean, it'll change your life. I mean, that's what I do right now. And sure, you could become some other kind of developer, but why would you want to? I mean, blockchain has an incredibly high average salary. Right now, it's $154,000 per year. You know, compare that to a web developer, it's only $75,000 per year. I mean, blockchain's twice as lucrative. It's like a mobile developer, $105,000 per year. Uh, Blockchain's still $50,000 higher per year. Uh, Let's look at entry level, okay? Only about 15% of jobs in blockchain are less than 100K per year. But with mobile and web, it's like a a ton. And also upward mobility, the high end of blockchain jobs are over $220,000 per year. And you don't even see those numbers register on mobile or web. So why is that? Well, it's basic economics. It's supply and demand. There's a huge demand and a relatively small supply of blockchain developers. So if you want to earn a six-figure income, you have to be worth six figures. It doesn't matter if you're trying to get a job, become a freelancer, or you know build your own business. You have to be able to deliver six figures worth of value. That's key, all right? And just knowing blockchain is gonna make this more likely uh, from the get-go because a little bit of blockchain knowledge goes a long way. But there's a certain set of characteristics that you know if you have these, it's just gonna increase uh, the likelihood that you will earn a high income, all right? So let me just tell you about what those are. Let's just lay them out. These characteristics basically fall into two categories, all right? Hard skills and soft skills, okay? So hard skills are by far the most important. That's like your actual skills as a developer because if you don't have those, then you can't do the job at all. So nobody's gonna hire you and you won't make any money. But uh, soft skills increase the likelihood that you will make more money, even, you know, even if your hard skills stay equal, like maybe you're the best developer. If you work on your soft skills, you can improve uh, your chances at earning a higher pay. So let's get really specific about hard skills. All right. First and foremost, you need the right skills. All right. This is key. And this might seem obvious on the surface, but a lot of people get this wrong. So the best case scenario is that you have the exact skills that the person wants to do the exact job that they're hiring for, whether you're an employee, freelancer, or whatever, all right? So let's say somebody wants to hire a smart contract developer to solve a very specific problem. 
So if you know Ethereum smart contract development, you're way more likely to make a lot of money on that job than somebody who has to be trained for it, okay? So for example, like let's say you're a computer science student or maybe you're an experienced developer, but you don't have that exact skill, right? You're probably gonna make less money than the person who already does, even if they don't have this other sophisticated background, okay? And that's really because of the amount of time that it takes. If you already know the skill, you can complete the job in the least amount of time rather than someone else who has to get trained to do it, maybe who has a computer science degree or just other development skills, even blockchain development skills, like maybe you know a different blockchain language or something, but if you know this exact skill that somebody wants to solve the problem, you know, you're gonna do it faster, they're gonna get a better ROI out of you as a business person, right? So um, if you don't have the right skills, that's okay. You know, I show you how to do all these things on this YouTube channel, um, just watch any of the free tutorials that I put out there, they're basically like Udemy courses, but they're just on YouTube. Or you can just take a massive shortcut and join us inside the blockchain bootcamp so that you can learn how to build a real world application uh, that will give you these right skills. And so if you have the right skills, the next is, are they viable? Your skills definitely need to be up to a certain level if you're going to command a high pay. So how do you know if that's the case? Well, uh, you know, can you build real world apps unguided, Right not just tutorials. And when you encounter problems, like do you know how to solve the problem before writing the code, right? And, and if you stepped into a working situation, you know, could you solve most problems that people just throw at you or do you need someone else to just bail you out all the time, okay? Now, there's some caveats here. I know that some things aren't that simple. Like some things literally have no solutions. Uh, so everyone gets stumped or come to the conclusion that problems are unsolvable from time to time. But also an experienced developer who is a six-figure developer is going to know the difference, all right? So do you know the difference between those types of things or are you always just overwhelmed by what you don't know? I would say that's a pretty big uh, distinction that would you know, say whether your skills are viable or not, okay? And you'll know if your skills are viable, like are you getting hired for jobs where you get paid this amount of money? Like if somebody posts a six-figure job and you apply for it and they say, ah, he's not ready or she, um, then, you know, that's, that's instant feedback. That's okay. Um, but if you don't have it, right, you get rejected or maybe you don't fit this description. That's okay. How do you fix it? Uh, well, what's the old saying? How do you get to Carnegie Hall? You practice. Okay. You just keep going back to the drawing board saying, okay, what do I need to know and improving that? So there's a few ways to do this. You know, you can get a lower paying job just to get started and then uh, get the experience so that your skills actually become viable and get one of those higher paying jobs. Or you can do what I did and basically build your own projects and run into walls and, you know, get really frustrated, but you'll learn a lot that way. Like you'll learn what's possible with blockchain, what's not, build your own apps, um, and then, you know, kind of take the road less traveled. But that's another way to also improve your skills to this viable six-figure level as well. All right, now let's talk about soft skills. And this is really important because this often separates highly paid developers from non-highly paid developers, okay? So uh, let me just tell you about you know some specific soft skills that are required for you to you know, command a high salary, I would say. Uh, the first thing is, can you work independently, right? Are you independent? Basically, can someone just give you a problem and you just solve it without having to be managed all the time, right? That that means you're they're worth a lot of money because that doesn't require someone else's time. You know, they're they're getting a good ROI off you if you can just be autonomous and solve uh, problems and do the work, okay? So if you don't have this, that's okay. That just means you need more practice. So go back up to that step that I talked about, you know, with hard skills uh, in the previous section, okay? So the next thing is, are you reliable? If someone gives you a job, are you going to do it on time, right? Um, and also, are you working when you're supposed to be working? So, you know, I know deadlines are tricky with software development, but if you can't make a deadline, you definitely want to communicate about that early. I'm going to talk about communication in a second and how that's key. So if you don't have this, like let's just say you're not a reliable person, um, then, I mean, hold yourself to strict deadlines and uh, do it in your personal life. Like it'll overflow into your working life too. Like don't procrastinate um, and just do what you're supposed to. All right, so the next thing is, uh, are you honest, right? People don't want to work with liars. So for lots of obvious reasons, I mean, it's pretty simple. Just tell the truth, report your time honestly, don't fudge your stand-up updates. And if you don't have this, like if you're not honest, uh, just know that it's going to cost you something in the long term, right? I know there's definitely sophisticated liars out there, but um, 
don't do it. It's not good for the world either. <laughs> okay, so the next thing is communication. And this is big. So I don't misspell it. So uh, can you express what you mean? And so many people think that they are like communicating clearly when they're not. So if you don't believe me, go back to your old test me text messages or emails from like six months ago. Do they make sense to you now? Right? Are they concise and clear? Uh, you know, record yourself talking into a camera and watch it six months to a year later. Like, do you make sense to yourself now? Uh, trust me, I, I've watched some of my old YouTube videos from you know years back, and they're kind of cringy, and sometimes they're hard to understand. And that's because I needed to work on communication myself. So I'm not above this, and it's gonna be painful uh, to critique yourself, but think about the upside for sure. Um, so also with communication, like try to think about what the other person wants to know and speak to them in a language that they can understand. So if they're not a developer, don't talk to them like they're a developer. Um, if they're a project manager and they want to see daily progress, like it's important for you to communicate those things on a daily basis. And a lot of times that will go farther in your job than you working on something for 10 hours a day, but never telling anybody about it. I know it's counterintuitive. I hate that it works that way. I'd rather just work and just like let the work speak for itself, but that's not really how it works, especially in the workplace when you've got all these moving parts and communication is really important, okay? Uh, so uh, let's see here. The next thing is like, are you likable? <laughs> Without a doubt, like people want to work with people that they like. So this is a less of a problem in blockchain because the skills are so scarce and people can't always be as picky about this kind of thing. But likability is a big deal. Um, if you don't have it, I would just try to ask your friends or family like uh, hard questions like, why don't people like me? And try to maybe address the problem from there. I know it's kind of an awkward conversation to have. Um, but, you know, if we're being honest and really talking about, hey, what separates highly valuable people from not, that's one of them. It's definitely not a requirement. Uh, I'm just talking about these things. Like if you have these, if you have all these things and the more you have of each of these things, it's way more likely that you're gonna make more money. So the last thing, and this is key, and this honestly might be the most important one. Maybe I should have put it first, is negotiation. All right, so negotiation on all fronts. Like when you're talking about how much, like when you're talking about your, your compensation whenever you're getting the job or the freelancing gig, that's definitely important, but also just in the daily workplace, okay? Saying this is going to be done by this time or not, et cetera, et cetera. Because negotiation is the at the heart of cooperation, which ultimately is what about, or is ultimately what working together is about. So if you want to know more about that idea, that's straight out of a book. Uh, it's called Never Split the Difference by Chris Voss. Uh, you should check that out. If I remember, I'll put a link down below. But uh, that's a great book about negotiation if you want to learn more about that, if you don't have it now. But negotiation, part of it is like knowing what you're worth, right? G actually getting the salary data, getting the compensation data, being able to ask for money. And part of that comes from overcoming your fear with experience. Like you, you have a little bit more experience, you get more confident and you do a little more every time, okay? And you'll get a lot you'll get a lot of experience doing that if you're a freelancer because you're be approaching new jobs all the time, okay? So uh, yeah, negotiation is the last thing on this list, but it might be the most important and maybe I should have put it first. All right, that's all I've got. So if you like this video, then definitely smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And again, you don't need to be a developer to take action right now. You can start your journey towards becoming a six-figure blockchain developer today. What is that old saying? It's like uh, the journey of a million miles starts with a single step or something like that. So here's what you can do. Just check out some of the free tutorials that I put out here on this YouTube channel. They're basically like you know Udemy courses, but they're just free. And if you want to take the next step, or maybe you just want to take a massive shortcut, uh, then head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp, because I'll show you how to become a highly paid blockchain developer step by step. All right. That's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching DAP University.